Section 11.1, .1, Areas of Triangles and Parallelograms. Now we're looking at all of our shapes together, we're looking at their area, and so we do need to remember what a perimeter is, and a perimeter is the length of, let's alter that slight typo here, of all the sides of a polygon summed together. So if we have a triangle, then its perimeter is 3 plus 4 plus 4, which is going to give us 11 units. If we have a pentagon, let's say it's a... There we go. Its perimeter is adding all the sides together, so we get 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5, which gives us 8 plus 6 plus 5, which is 8 plus 11. No. Yeah, 8 plus 11, which is 19. So this is important to recognize that perimeter is a linear measure. We're in one dimension here. It's a length. We could actually take all of these sides and lay them out straight in a line. Area is a little bit different. Area is a two-dimensional measure. It measures how many square units fit on a surface. So here, we can break down this length into five chunks. Here we get four, and three, three, and then four. So we get these lengths here. When we look at area, we're looking at a square unit, which is co composed by a one by one square. What we're doing when we're figuring out area is we're stacking lengths on top of each other, and we could, if we wanted to, estimate an area by estimating the number of square units that fit on the desired surface. So let's play with this a little bit. We could have a one-dimensional length of five units, and then we can see how many units we can stack up. So here, We have five one by one squares, because we're five units wide, one unit high, which means our area is five square units. And those are the five squares we have. If we stacked another row on top, we are now two units high and five units wide, which means we have two rows of five units, which gives us an area of ten square units. Hopefully you're seeing the pattern here. This is what the idea of area is. It's just figuring out how many square units fit onto your surface. How many times you're stacking this width up. So now that we're five units wide and three units high, our area is 15 square units. Well, this brings us to some important postulates first, and then we're going to look at the specific formulas for shapes. Postulate 25 is the area congruence postulate, which tells us that if two polygons are congruent, then they have the same area. For example, if I had two congruent triangles, then by definition, since they are the same size and the same shape, they must have the same area. Postulate 26 is the area addition postulate. It tells us that the area of a region is the sum of the area of its non-overlapping parts. So if I draw a figure up here that's a triangle on top of a rectangle, I can find the entire area by finding the area of the rectangle plus the area of the